When you read of admonitions towards good works, patterning yourself after Christ as a role model, there's two divergent ways of applying it to your life. The first is seeing it in a carnal, fleshly way, a list of rules you need to keep through your self-effort to try and perfect yourself. Perhaps you understand you can't be perfect, but surely you can attain to something that will be good enough, right? And then God will bless you and reward you for your self-effort. But the law demands 100% absolute perfection. There is no almost good enough, and you're not doing it. Nobody does. So instead of the blessing, you will receive the curse. I think many Christians suffer from this, having put themselves under the curse of the law, thinking it's just the chastisement of God. Well, if you want to consider the curse chastisement, its goal would be to bring you to walk in faith in Christ and to stop putting yourself under the law. And what about Christ as a role model? Indeed, it is good. And it's good to read and learn of these things and keep them in our heart. But doing good doesn't save us. Believing on the finished work of Christ saves us. It's not a requirement for salvation, but the way forward is faith, continuing as you began. To do anything else genuinely good, Christ should be the foundation, our faith and rest in the finished work of Christ. From there, a good work can be built. I believe God can do that work in a person who is walking by faith. And when God does the work, it's genuine from the inside, not trying to wash over things with self-effort. Do you have faith in God that he is able to do a supernatural work in a person? Can you see a morality outside of self-effort, rule-keeping, punishment, and reward? Or can you only see God as the world sees things? as a wage system, working and earning. If none of these works is a requirement of salvation, you might ask, why do them at all? None of these works make you righteous before God. Only the blood of Jesus ever makes you righteous before God. As my wife sometimes says to me when I ask if something is wrong, ask yourself that question. I hope an answer will come from your spirit that's rooted in something genuine. I think there's a few things to realize. One is to realize there's a difference between your flesh and your reborn spirit. If you can't separate the two and see them as different and distinct, it may be hard to walk in faith in the spirit. Another is to trust God and have faith that he is fully capable of working in and through a born again person. Please understand the works God has for us are preordained. While the work is being done in us and through us, it is God doing it through his might and power, not our own. How can you tell if you're trying through your own self-effort or whether it's God doing a work in you? First, where is your focus? Is it having faith in God? Or is it busy examining a list of things you need to adhere to and trying to figure out how you'll force yourself to do them? Second, is the work a difficult struggle. If it's God doing the work, it should feel more natural and genuine and without great struggle. If there is any striving, it would be to have faith because everything else will follow the faith. I think even for people who have put themselves under the law, God will do a work in them, perhaps when they're not looking. And they may not recognize it, or perhaps they think it was something they were doing. If you can look back and recognize some of these moments, maybe you can begin to see evidence that God is fully capable of doing a good work in you. And back to Christ as a role model, what do you think? Did Jesus have faith in his Father? How much more so should we also have faith in Jesus first and foremost? Without faith in Christ as a foundation, you'll just be building with your self-effort something that won't ultimately stand. You might think, well, I believe the gospel and I'm saved, so that's my foundation. But then if instead of building on the foundation, you begin to build something else apart from it with your own self-effort, how could your work stand? The foundation should support the weight of the building. So if the foundation is faith in Christ, the work should be done also, having faith in Christ. To do the works of God, believe in the one whom he has sent. 